Okay. Um. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Draco Thuban, and I'm back. Uh, I think I'm gonna get back to my let's play of Forge Chapter One Beta. Um. Hopefully, this isn't too late to really make a difference or anything. But hey, whatever. We're gonna continue. Uh, continue. Yeah, there. That that one. Sure. So, um, yeah, last time we came up to go to bed, and we checked a bunch of stuff, and nothing was there, so we're gonna go to bed. Compared to Brix's, this one looks like a king's bed. I'm not that sleepy, actually. Maybe I should take a look around instead. Okay, maybe there's other stuff that we need to do. Okay, books. Let's look at the books. Not exactly light reading. Okay. A little nap wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, now you're tired. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. <laughs> what? Bedtime. Bedtime. Um. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I gotta do something real quick. And I'm not going to cut this out. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I got, I'm doing this on Twitch, so I want to change my thing here. Forge Chapter 1 Demo. Okay. All right. Several hours later. Rusty, good morning. Good morning. Come see this quickly. Come see this quickly. Have you been up all night? Absolutely, and it was time well spent. Firstly, take a look at these. Um, what are they? I have no idea what they are. Oh, you found gems. Okay. You fixed the godlets. That's very impressive. That's not all. I stepped out for some fresh air when I saw something glowing in the darkness. And then I found it. Um. I thought there may have been more, so I kept looking high and low. You, and there you, were. I found two more. You, you found your cases? Professor, remember going slow? Remember the sparks, Rusty? I found three of them. Three sparks. The rest must have flown up the tram line before the rock slide. How did you capture them? Carefully, Rusty. Carefully. Seems they can't pass through glass. Oh, well, they're that's stirring. Easy. I believe they're responding to the gauntlets. Or they're not happy to see me. I'll only release these sparks if you think you can handle them. Professor, I... It was my fault the sparks broke free. I was so angry. But I promised to use the gauntlets wisely to defeat chaos and free my guild. Very well then. Doesn't mean you can handle the sparks. Astonishing! The sparks were drawn like a magnet. Does this mean I can use these gauntlets now? Even draw schematics? It might just. The specifics are still a bit of a mystery to me. Okay. Let me pull this up over here, actually. I'm curious. Would you be willing to help me with an experiment? Is Perhaps. It safe? I believe so. I don't think there are enough sparks to cause you harm. <laughs> <laughs> if you're sure. Yeah, this sounds sure. What are you waiting for? Take a look at this cage. I see something. A grid with lines. It's happening. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Looks like a two with the a couple. The grid looks... 
unbalanced. Hmm, there seems to be a connection between the number of sparks and the complexity of schematics you can design. But if you can completely see the schematic, you should be able to recreate its effect on similar objects. Who knows what other schematics lay hidden inside everyday objects? Fascinating. Well, congratulations. Okay, so we gotta check out. Of items course, you're welcome to stay schematics. here for as long as need be. But what they do, who knows? And do they only work on metal, or do they work on anything? Hmm. 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 Interesting. Looking around and interacting with fragment. As soon as you learn a pattern, its starting dot and the subsequent lines will be highlighted in a grid in the correct sequence. When you want to apply a schematic, select a target, then move your cursor over one of the dots. It will start flashing and a silhouette of the related schematic will be shown. Now click the dot with the left mouse button, keep it pushed, and start drawing the schematic. Release the button and the schematic is done. Try to be to stay as close as possible to the grid lines. Don't skip any dot and never go back. If you do so, you'll have to start again. Okay. Some schematics can be reversed by drawing them mirrored horizontally, but you may have to use the right. But you have to use the right button instead of the left. There are also symmetrical schematics. They always start on one of the dots in the middle column. You can draw them with either the left or the right button, but beware they cannot be reversed, and they are usually very powerful, so use them wisely. That's all for this tutorial. That's not really a tutorial, but, you know, okay, so let's do the crystal. Let's go. Okay, so there's that. I have to focus on the tip of my finger and follow the line exactly. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to like this. I've already told him about this, and it's just... I have to focus on the tip of my finger stupid. and follow the line exactly. Yeah, because that makes fun, right? That's a fun game to sit here and like, oh no, let's not go outside. Hey, trace exactly, everybody. Nope. No significant change. Okay, uh, let's try this tuning fork. I'd rather not use the gauntlets now. Why not? But you'll do that. No significant. Okay, let's try on the cage. Did that turn to gold? Or did I make it new? What did it do? Hey, Prof. Yes, Rusty? Why do you keep this old cage here? Oh, it was once the home of my pet raven. Poor little Edgar. Did it turn into gold? What did it do? Like. They corrode it, uncorrode it. What's up? I can visualize. Let's do that again. Maybe it'll rush to complete. I don't know. It's as tarnished as it can be. Okay, so you got tarnish and untarnish. Okay. Anything else, Prof? <sighs> what a beautiful carving. Hardly a carving. That was my old pet raven, Edgar. What happened to him? Cellular crystallization. From exposure to the seeds of the geos in the garden. Can't you change him back? Unfortunately not. The crystal regrows as fast as we can chisel it away. Poor thing.
What's this, Professor? This? Oh. Ahem. A map. It's a map. Quite delicate, too, so please don't touch it or it might crumble in your hands. Okay, can I look at it and visualize the crumbling okay. thing? Maybe? What's this, Professor? Yeah. This? Oh, jeez, come on. Oh. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. Prof's stuff. Please don't touch anything. Professor. Oh, that's my resonance exp I use it to test the natural vibrations of- Oh, okay. So I got a vibration thingy going on now. Okay. I can visualize. So let's. I have to focus. <sighs> so let's do it to this one. No, I won't do anything, okay. No significant change. What about this hue? It's not so rare here in Sable. Rocks like this one naturally grow inside crystal. It's like a greenhouse where crystal plants are cultivated as standard flora. You should visit it if you still haven't. It's located in the Clover District. Okay. I shouldn't go... I didn't go backwards. There's no point in using a schematic now. Why not? That's okay. So apparently, let's see. There's no point in you. So I can only do it on metal. Professor, what's in some chemicals and reagents I use in my experiments? <clears throat> I really, really. Another time then. Sure. What are the- Oh, those. Ever heard of the scrying- Maybe. Glassmakers used them. What? Are you- Not at all. Incredible. Then use- them. I'm afraid- You see, these ones are just- Crafting the spheres is an extremely long- And even a minor fault can result in an uns- <sighs> Well, I suppose that's- I'm sorry. Hmm. Not a- Very well. Mold your own- I'm sure the forge and all of your guild will have a place in it. I hope so. Thanks, Prof. Prof. Some chemicals and regents. So you're really interested in chemistry, aren't you? Not exactly. Besides, I'm still in a hurry. Sorry, Professor. A hurry to do what? Something? I don't know. Maybe. No idea yet, because. What about this huge this crystal, kind of Prof? Trolling around. Rocks like this one naturally grow inside Crystal Guard. You should visit it if you still haven't. Okay, let's go visit Crystal Guard. Well, Professor. And for repairing the gauntlets. Hopefully, I can find the rest of the sparks someday. I wish I could accompany you on your adventures. I'll endeavor to convince the magnets of Chaos's return. Perhaps they will listen to the opinion of an educated man. I hope so, too. He talks Time so... Time to see about this I tram don't now. like how fast he talks. Of course. And if all holds true, your abilities will increase if you find more sparks. Okay, great. Thank you. So let me see something. Maybe... Let's see if this works. Oh, no, that's not what this? I want to do. No, that's not what I want to do. Definitely less eye catching, but e
There's no point in using a... Looks like a plant, but it's actually made of crystal. And it casts nice reflections. Looks like a... Looks like a... Okay. I have to... F if a guard sees me breaking ran... That's why I don't break it, silly. No answer. I suppose the old lady on the balcony... And she's... F Okay, no idea what to do now. Ready to go. Cool. Sure, let's look at the thrones. Why not? These are the thrones where magnates sit during auditions. No jewels or gold plating, and yet they're impressive sculptures. I think they've been carved from a single block of white stone. Nice. Very nice. Pillars. That's what's up with the pillars. They look like legs of a green marble elephant. It, really? That green, green marble. They look like... Okay. Kind of an odd... Uh, analogy there, or I think that's what I'm looking for. Analogy, simile, something like that. It's not a simile. I don't think. Uh, let's go up here. Ish. It'd be nice to have like a uh, thing to tell you that you're going another direction. The Magnates may have let you off easy, but they still have you on report. That means you're not leaving the city! Okay. I've never seen a mole so large. A little controlled breeding and a few centuries of domestication. Well, it's mostly domesticated. I have to... This? No significant. It's weird because, like, sometimes you can go way outside the lines and sometimes you can't. It's not horrible, but. No effect. Definitely would be really bad on a no significant. What you call it on a uh, trackpad or a freaking trackpad or something? Okay, I don't know what's what. There's the dome. Green district, red district, yellow district, white district. Let's go to the dome, maybe. I'd never have thought plants could grow underground. These miners are really something. They look like the ones on the upper garden, but they don't have any fruits. Where are you going? It's no use, Shale. This pillar is just too big. You might be right, Clay. We'll have to submit a request to the magnates for some mild explosives. That could take weeks. You know how long it takes them to do anything. We don't have much other ch Well, hello there. Hello indeed. Hi. So, is the tram out of service? Unfortunately. The last tremor caused this. And now we're stuck with this ridiculous sol- I really need to get back to the surface. Is what if this I the shake the thingy? With all these earthquakes, it's the- Not to mention the high chances of getting lost in the underground tunnels if you go on foot. And all the creepy th Oh. So you'll just have to be p I 
have to focus. I have to. Come on. What a shot! Well, lad, whatever you did sure did the trick. Guess we won't need those explosives after all. Just some time and a couple of shovels. You saved us a lot of time, lad. I'm glad to hear it. Will the tram be reopened soon? Come back later. Hopefully we can assess any further damage. In the meantime, can we repay you for your efforts? Well, while I'm waiting, I wouldn't mind having a little more freedom. The guards at the crossroads won't let me pass. Consider it done. Oh, that was easy. And thanks again. But you're, you're welcome, I guess. I've already done my share, and shoveling is not my forte. Well, whose forte is shoveling? Like, if your shoveling is forte, or if your forte is shoveling, then... I don't know what to tell you, dude. I can't go anywhere unless the railway is fully... Okay, well, I just wanted to look to see if it was a freaking schematic. Because apparently I gotta check all the items for schematics. And I don't know where I'm going. Go back in the dome, because when we're done checking the dome, we just ran out of there for no reason. Fence, grass, fruits. Let's check the fruits. Okay, so you walk halfway in like a second and a half, and then it takes you three seconds to step five feet. Okay, cool. Perfect sense. This doesn't make it. What the heck? Incoming more time loss. That's fine, I'm not there anyway. Okay. Farmer! Farmer Joe! What's what up, Farmer Joe? What is this place? I beg your pardon? I'll be back. I'm sorry, I, I'm not from around here. It's amazing. Is everything made of crystal? Crystals, minerals, and everything in between. But no traditional plants, if that's what you mean. How does anything grow here? There's no water or sunlight. You're thinking like a toplander. All we need is mineral enriched soil and a few dozen centuries of ingenuity. Enjoy your stay in the garden, but please don't touch anything. Okay, well, that's very interesting. Can I pick some fruits? They look like a hybrid between a fruit and a mineral. Uh, can I do anything with the grass? The entire meadow is made of emerald blades of grass. Awesome. Simply amazing. Please stay off the grass. No, I want to get on the grass. The entire Just a simple steel fence. Ah, <gasps> steel. Uh-oh. Let's do some stuff. It's too solid to be a f Sure. 
Let's tarnish it then. And then affect it by vibrations. I can't tarnish it either? Must be made of stainless steel. Oh, get out of here. That's <laughs> dumb. That is dumb right there. I'm sorry. Stainless steel. But it's magical. It's not. It's magic. Hey, Mr. Gardner. Tell me some more about this place. We grow most of our gemological exports right here under the cloche. Instead of carving a ruby into a rose, we can grow one. I had no idea. That's pretty cool. We blacksmiths don't get the chance to work with many gemstones. If you ever have the spare time, spend a summer here. The things you'd see... Apparently. I'm leaving. I guess I can finally get back to... But please, if it's... I... What happened over here? Huh. Okay, so that's the green district. Go out of there, let's go red district. Sure, let's check that out. Is that where I was? Yep, okay. Hey, Clay. Right on time. Grab a shovel. Oh, sorry, guys. I should only be a few more hours until the track is clear. Cool. Good thing, too. Why don't you pay a visit to Lady Cole in the meantime? She's the oldest living citizen of Sable Shaft and knows a She lives in the Cobalt District. Right next to Professor Penumbra's house. Yeah, but she's a. But sleep. you'll have to find a way to wake her up first. Not a bad idea. Maybe she. Oh, I can make the canaries sing because I vibrate their cages. <laughs> Maybe. Go leave. Go somewhere other than here. Um. Cobalt District. It's over here. The blue, blue thing. Yeah, I can. Here is our little. He yep. I'm hardly a hero. Hero. Sure you are. The tram line is something. The repair crew chief has even authorized your admittance to the stone stair. Cool. Too bad that's not the way I need to go. He said he would take any responsibility for allowing you to leave past curfew too. Sweet. Nice fellow. I'll have to remember to thank him. I really should check back with Bricks anyway. He did save my life after all. Where is Bricks? Okay, so it's not the Cobalt District, it's the Blue District. Because what ifs? Yeah, I need some place to click to know where I'm going. Like if I'm leaving an area, that's a big thing. I think it's like, see, I have no idea. Okay, that made me go. What the hell? Oh, the slow walk. Hey, Briggs. What's this? Curious, are we? Well, if you think the machine is impressive, you'll love seeing it in action. What am I watching exactly? All I do is squish, and the turnstile does the rest. There's a spark! There's a spark! I need the spark! Give me spark! I'm impressed, Briggs. Rightfully so. 
two bottles worth. Not too bad. Of course, the wine that's just been bottled does not come from the grapes you saw me crush. Making wine is not so easy. What the machine has bottled right now was last month's. After all, it takes a considerable amount of juice to make even a single bottle. Wait a minute. What's in there? I think it's one of those sparks. Of all the places. Anyway, please stay away from this machine. It's a very delicate and expensive instrument. Uh, yeah, we're gonna vibrate it. If I break the glass, the spark will just fly away. I should be more careful. Hey, boy! You'd best stay away from this machine. But Bricks, there's a spark in there. Sparks? Oh my! You must have hit your- Why don't you lay back- Ah, uh, no. I have to f I have to- I'd rather not use a gun. Rubber dub dub. Rubber dub dub. Rubber dub. I'm glad you're feeling better. You'll need to speak with the magnates if you actually. Well, I didn't believe a single word of what I told. I'm sorry. I don't. Maybe you could try to impress. All miners are quite suspicious with strangers. I'll think of something. You're. W but now I really. Just some empty bot. I have to. I shouldn't. I have to. I don't think that's a. Oh, jeez, come on. Distance, please. Hmm. There's gotta be something to do. Like, this is stupid. Nothing happened. I shouldn't go back. I didn't go backwards. I freaking stopped. No effect. These bear the seal of the vintners. Quite a selection, too. Shaken, not stirred. What? No, we're going to be eating dinner Shaken, a little bit. Not stirred. Simply shred. What? Leftover. I have to f <sighs> Nothing happened. <sighs> okay. Could have a spark there. Couldn't you? Some reason, um, if I make the distillery vibrate, maybe I don't know. That might damage. Did you say? <clears throat> that might damage. Did you say? <clears throat> I 
should draw this one using... This note bricks probably takes good... Rather not use it. There's no point in using. I'd rather not. Okay, so why mm, that didn't accomplish me. That's awesome. I can see the spark and I can't get it because I can't grab it because it, oh, get away from the machine. I don't see that giant glowing spark in there that I think you're crazy now because I don't see that flying magical thingy. Cuz I'm an idiot. Except for all the blue. Except for all the blue. I want to go there. Jeez. Except for all. I want to go there. Apparently, that's difficult. Why is it so difficult to go to somewhere? Okay, let's try to make you freaking things tweet. Maybe, I don't know, that might work. I have to. I have to follow it exactly because if I'm a pixel off, it's not gonna work. You want to scare the canary? Yes, I do, so they'll squeak, stupid. Hello there. Hmm. You want to... There's no point in you. Except for the fact that there's something to do. That's not... Nothing. Go somewhere. What the? What? I clicked over here. I uh, I want to leave. I want to go to the yellow district. Why can't I go to the yellow district? I can't get in there, obviously. And I move like freaking pond water. That's great. <sighs> so let's leave the blue district to the green district, and then leave the green district so that I can go through the blue district to the yellow district. Maybe. Because I don't know if I can even go there. Oh, I can make it. Wait. What? I've never seen such an abundance of wealth all concentrated in a single area. Truly a burglar's paradise. So... But gold is not my kind of metal, that's for sure. 
Okay, let's look at the can there's a schematic I can learn from the canary watch. They don't seem very happy. Maybe I need to untarnish the cages because they're so untarnished already? I don't know. Oh, you'll do that though. Good as new already. That's what I thought. Very flashy. So let's make it unflashy. Oh, I There's can't no do point that in using it. Um, maybe make that vibrate. No, it's too solid to. Yeah, of course. I think I made that railing. I have to. F okay, hold on. Let's make it soft. Maybe. And then make it shake. I, I don't know. This is kind of silly. Hey, all you card. What's going on, man? This uh, game's giving me a little trouble here. Nope, still can't affect it. Okay. It's too, so it's too solid. It's it's tarnished, but it's it's solid. The door. Maybe I can weaken the door somehow. Forcing the door open is a bit too daring, isn't it? Well, this is uh, a game called Forge, uh, Chapter 1. Um, it is a sequel, a fan-made sequel to the game Loom by LucasArts Adventures. Um, I was if called God in... sees me breaking random... Oh, gosh. I got called in on this because I did a Let's Play of Loom, and they're like, hey... Why don't you check us out? Give us some ideas. So I'm doing a let's play of this beta version. I'm trying to anyway. So I'm having a hell of a time. But uh, yeah, you there's different guilds and each guild does something different. And Rusty is of the guild of... Uh, uh, well, he's Rusty Nailbender. He's of the guild of uh, blacksmiths. And so he does stuff with metal. And whatnot. Um, I've already done my share and shoveling. And he doesn't want to work, apparently. But I'm trying to get him out of here. And I really don't know how. Ooh, wait a minute. I saw something. Right now, I only know two schematics. Two things I can do um, I can tarnish things or make them untarnished. Or this I can of the rail has things. been bent to be used as a railroad switch. Wait! Oh, cool, okay. I got a new schematic that does something. Ooh, it probably switches the thing. I can see the bending process as a schematic. Yeah, that's yeah, that's one of the things I'm thinking of, dude. Um Another thing is this schematic drawing is kind of a pain. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? You just learned it. What is it? Uh, can I figure out what it... That's the other thing, too. Like, you can learn a schematic, I and then it's like, what does it do? No idea. The tram car is perfectly functional. The railway is... Okay. So do this maybe and do this? I don't know. Oh, that's something. But it doesn't do anything now. It didn't work. Yeah, it didn't apparently. I don't know what it was supposed to do even in the first place. 
So let's leave and find something that we can use it on, perhaps. Uh, let's go to the green district, maybe. This is all. This is the whole green. Okay, whole green district. So let's. Sure. I have to. Uh. I have to. Ah, uh, come on. I have to. Dude. Rusty, seriously, stop. There's no point in using it. Of course not. Why would there be? Let's try it on the lamppost that I've tarnished. A guard post is not the best place in the world. Why is it vandalism? I don't even know what the thing does. Maybe it'll open the cage. Oh, yeah, it'll open the cage. Canaries will fly out, wake up the broad up here. That's it. That's the ticket. Even though I really have no idea what this schematic does. I could hurt the poor birds while bending their cage. Oh, does it bend something? Oh, I get it because the thing is bent, it bends stuff. Okay. Twisting the lamp posts. <sighs> okay. Well, let's try bending something in here, back, maybe. Russ. Well, you're welcome to stay here for as long as need be. Thank you, Professor. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Okay. Cage. But I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break my. I'm gonna break my rusty cage. <sighs> I. Uh. I've told them they don't like that idea. They think schematics are fine. That didn't come. There's no point in using a. Okay, let's make the cage not rusty and then see what the hell he says. Even though you're rusty already, rusty nail bender, but whatever. Okay, there's their stuff right there. Good, good. Now let's bend it. But I'm gonna br I'm cage. He just doesn't say cage. A rusty, I mean. Bye, oh Professor. Gosh. Goodbye, Rusty. Thanks, Pro. <sighs> okay, let's bend the railing. I'm just gonna bend stuff until it works. If I try to bend it right now, it will. Okay. Well, at least that's the more like a hint. So let's make it untarnished. Even though it's not rusting it, it's tarnishing it, which is two completely different things. Tarnishing is just dirty. Like, you can clean it. Rusting is actually a structural defect because some of the metal is turned to oxidized metal, which makes it weak. So, yeah, there's that. Father would be proud of me. <laughs> That's like okay. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, so I found my way up to the old lady. Uh, I'm uh, pretty sure I can wake her up. Hello. Now. That's all it took. I could have screamed from below. I. 
Ah? Uh, who? Oh, hello, Sonny. I'm sorry if I disturbed your sleep. Don't worry your little blonde head about it. I envy you spry whippersnappers being able to have the run of the city. Actually, I've only just arrived. I haven't left my home in years. At my age, my body is just too frail. I see. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so there's a new schematic. I can't reverse the schematic yet. I was wondering if you could answer a question for me. I'd be but I guess happy it makes to. things old. I don't get many visitors. But please be quick. At my age, naps are my fuel. Of course. I'm curious. Why don't the canaries sing? Well, that's a question for sure. The canaries lining the streets haven't sung as much as a melody in nearly five years. Yeah, you mean they used to sing? Oh, yes. Canaries are natural songbirds. Years ago, I used to lean up against the lamppost down there and sing with them for hours. But you stopped going. As I got older, I couldn't walk down my stairs anymore. As for the canaries, they stopped when the lampposts underwent restoration. Restoration, you say? Well, not exactly. I admit they were very tarnished at the time. <laughs> but instead yes. of polishing them a bit, canaries King don't live Emery for five decided years. to give them a gold plating. Gold looks better than simple iron, doesn't it? Maybe I'm just too sober, yes. But even the canaries didn't appreciate all the excessive brightness and stopped singing shortly after. That would be very strange. Probably they just miss you. Such a cleverly disguised compliment. You'll make me blush. Was there anything else I can do for you? No, I guess that's it. Thanks, ma'am. Any time, dearie. But please, use the door from now on, okay? Just come and go as you please. Thanks, ma'am. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Whatever you did to the railing, please put it back as it was, my dear. Of course. I'll do this immediately. Yeah. So I tarnished up the gold lampposts already. They're not singing, so maybe if I make them old. I don't understand how that works at all. Whatever. So let's do this thing. Which way was it? Is it this way? I think. That didn't accomplish. Oh, I probably need to have the reverse of it to uh, turn back time or something. Unless. Hootie. But. Magnates will hang me if they find it. If I go like this. Don't think that'll work. I should draw this one, you. No, okay. Is it the same the other way? the same thing. Okay, yep, apparently. Nothing has changed. Great, okay. Let's untarnish them and then try to make them old. Philosopher's Stone? Who needs that? Okay. Now, gold, go old. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Not, dang it. No effect. Uh, the cage is gold, maybe? 
I have to. F can I make the canaries old? What can I make old? Nothing. Nothing happened. Yeah, okay, canary. I'd rather not use it. Of course not, because you're wimpy. I don't know, gosh. Let's go in here and see perhaps what this stuff. Welcome back, Rust. Well, yeah. you. Thank you. Yes, I know. Shut up, old man. Let's see what it does to this. Nothing. Okay, well, that there's a bottle I can try this on. I know. That's Bye, what I'll do. Goodbye. Thanks, Prof. Perhaps. That'll work. Because I need another spark. There's a spark over here. The sparks are the thing that refills these gems here in the gauntlets. And the more sparks I get, the more complex stuff I can make. Um, but right now, I've only got three. So you notice there's some lines here missing. There's one two, three, four, five lines missing. So the five sparks that I need. Okay, and I'm going to try some things with, well, I'm going to try one thing with this glass and maybe some things over here. And if that doesn't work, then I'm done for the day, and I'm gonna try to figure some more stuff out. Let's try to make him old. Well, he's already old, but let's see what that does. There's no point in you. No, of course there's not. Okay, see, there's the bottled spark. Does nothing. Of course. No significant change. Uh, to the machine, maybe. That might damp. Did you say? Jeez. <clears throat> Great barrels. That might damp. Did you? <clears throat> okay. There's one more thing. One more thing. I just thought of. One more thing. Come on, dude, walk. Like, do something. Alright, let's go over here. The red district. My way home. Come on, go then. Like, he doesn't ever want to go anywhere. Maybe if we make this broken stalactite old and creaky. Nope, that didn't work either. Nothing happened. Okay, so yeah, I have no idea what this does. Which is kind of silly when you give me an ability and don't tell me what it does. Like, she's like, oh, I'm old, and then it's What's like... There's no point in using it. Well, maybe it makes it old. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe it makes it creaky. The tram car is the railway. Uh, I don't know. Context clues? Am I missing something? I'd rather like, not use. Did I just not see something and I'm dumb or what? Maybe let's make him old. I don't know. Can I make him old? I'd rather not use. No. There's more metal I could possibly bend. Let's let's try to bend the fence here. 
I know, you're gonna get knucklehead coming up. Skip, skip, somehow skip, thank you. Okay. Let's bend the vents. would have snapped if I had bent it further. Well, what? So why didn't you just leave it bent? Like... It would have... Okay, make it old. I have to. I have. To. No, it doesn't work. No sig. Can I make fruits old? These ones are too far. Yes. They look like the ones on the up. Too far away to cast magic on. I think that's a I have to f It would be a crime to damage Okay, well That's gonna be it for now Because I really don't know what the hell I'm doing right now So, I'm gonna save Right there and try to figure this out and come back another time because I am lost. Because I have crap that I don't know what that does! Can I make myself old? I don't think that's a... No, okay, cool. Alright, well, I'm going to figure out what to do next and then come back some other time. But thanks for watching and enjoy yourself. I'm Draco Thuban and you've been watching Forge Chapter 1 Beta. Bye.